maybe they will solve the same uh, differential equation that we solved in part one, two, and three, uh, but using variation of parameters. So in part one, we found that the solution to the homogeneous equation y triple prime minus y two y double prime plus y prime equals zero is uh, c1 plus c2 e to the x plus c3 x e to the x, and we want to find um, the solution to this equation, um, which we'll call star, using variation of parameters this time. So the particular solution that we expect to have is going to be v1 of x plus v2 of x e to the x plus v3 of x times x e to the x. So um, we'll have to find out uh, v1, v2, v3, but first we'll have to create a system of equations of their derivatives. So v1 prime times 1 plus v2 prime times e to the x plus v3 prime x e to the x equals 0. Then the same v1 prime, but now with the derivative of 1, which is 0, plus v2 prime and the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x, plus v3 prime times the derivative of x times e to the x, which um, is equal to x plus 1 times e to the x, and you can check that using product rule. And the same thing with the last line, where now we differentiate the previous line. So it's still plus 0. I do write the zeros because they are the coefficients and they are going to help me uh, find the um, determinant. And then v3 prime, and again we differentiate using product rule, so we end up with x plus 2 e to the x equals, and this last term we have to be careful, it's equal to the, uh, the function to the right divided by the leading coefficient, so it's just equal to x. So now based on this information we are going to calculate our delta, which is made by the coefficients of v1 prime, then the coefficients of v2 prime, and the coefficients of v3 prime. So let's create that determinant. So we get 1, 0, 0, e to the x, e to the x, e to the x, x, e to the x, x plus 1, e to the x, and x plus 2, e to the x. And we can solve this determinant by expanded by the first column because if we take a look at this column, it contains so many zeros. So it's much easier to solve. So we do that by writing 1, which is this term, and then we cross out the column in the row of the uh, determinant. I said then I, the other way around, so the row in the column, and we end up with e to the x, e to the x, x plus 1, e to the x, and x plus 2, e to the x. So you can pause the video and try to solve it yourself. We can multiply these two, minus, and we multiply these two, and we actually end up with e to 2x times x plus 2 minus e to 2x times x plus 1, which is equal to um, e to 2x. So this would be delta, which we're going to use um, in this problem again. Now delta, C1, delta v1 prime is actually replacing the first column, the yellow one, by the purple column, by the uh, terms on the uh, right-hand side. So it's 0, 0, x, e to the x, and then x, e to the x, x plus 1, e to the x, and x plus 2, e to the x. So please uh, pause this, and um, one piece of advice is to actually expand by the first column again, because we had all these zeros, so we get x times, and when we cross out the row in the column, we get this 2 by 2 determinant. And again, I would advise you to pause the video and compute it yourself. So delta v1 prime is x times e to 2x. Let's do the same thing to calculate the delta v2 prime, which is made by 1, 0, 0, and now the purple column comes in front of the... Um, second column of delta, so it's going to be 0, 0, x, and x e to the x, x plus 1, e to the x, and x plus 2, e to the x. I'm going to expand it by the first column again, because of all the zeros, and I end up with 1 times 
0 x x plus 1 e to the x x plus 2 e to the x and this is actually equal to negative x times x plus 1 e to the x delta v2 prime and delta v3 prime which is going to be equal to um, 1 0 0 e to the x e to the x e to the x and 0 0 x so this um, so I'm going to expand it by 1 times by the first column again so this we cross out the column in the row so we get e to the x e to the x 0 x which gives us e to the x times x so having this uh, information we can find out uh, v1 prime so v1 prime is delta v1 prime over delta which means x e to 2x over e to 2x so this cancels v1 prime let's write like this equals x so v1 of x equals integral of x dx which means x squared over 2 we don't write the c's anymore right for variation of parameters to simplify our problem we don't write the constant now v2 prime is delta v2 prime over delta so it's negative x times x plus 1 e to the x over e to 2x we don't want to have e to x at the denominator so when we cancel this we are going to end up with negative x times x plus 1 e to negative x and so um, let's calculate the v2 as or v2 of x as integral of negative let's write x squared plus x e to negative x dx so let's do this by integration by parts so i'm going to say u equals negative x squared minus x so i'm going to write this whole thing and so du is going to be negative 2x minus 1 dx dv is e to negative x dx so v is negative e to negative x so by integration by parts which says u dv is uv minus integral of v du we get uv negative x squared minus x times negative e to negative x minus integral of negative e to negative x du which is negative 2x minus 1 dx so i'm going to continue from here so it's going to be so many negatives right so it's going to be x squared plus x e to negative x and then i have negative here negative here and all these negatives so basically it's negative integral of 2x plus 1 e to negative x dx and I'm going to apply integration by parts one more time where u is 2x plus 1 du is 2 dx dv is e to negative x dx and v is negative e to negative x so it's going to be x squared plus x e to negative x minus and I'm going to have two parentheses there so it's going to be u v so it's negative 2x plus 1 e to negative x minus integral of v negative e to negative x dv um, v du sorry that's to dx so this is going to equal to x squared plus x e to negative x plus 2x plus 1 e to negative x and then this minus and this minus and this minus is going to be minus 2 this 2 and then integral of e to negative x is negative e to negative x so plus which is gonna be x squared e to negative x plus 3x e to negative x plus 3 e to negative x so this is v2 and v3 i'm gonna uh, calculate it here but please pause it and then calculate it yourself as well so i calculated v3 as well i used v3 prime like we did before and then uh, v3 is the integral and i integrate it uh, by parts so you can pause the video take a look at the work um, compare your work with my work now based on all this uh, information i'm going to write the format for the particular solution so um, the particular solution 
is v1 of x plus v2 of x e to the x plus v3 of x x e to the x. When we replace v1, v2, v3, we end up with the particular solution of this form. Now what's interesting in this problem is that we actually get exactly the same solution like we did in the previous problems in, with the different methods, but we get this uh, extra 3 here, which if we replace the particular solution into our original uh, problem, we are going to see that is not affecting our solution at all. So basically the solution to the um, whole problem, to the non-homogeneous one, being, uh, being the general solution uh, or the, the general solution plus the particular solution is going to end up being C1 plus C2 e to the x plus C3 e x e to the x and then plus x squared over 2 plus 2x plus 3. This 3 is absorbed with this constant so we actually end up with y of x being a constant plus c2 e to the x plus c3 x e to the x plus x squared over 2 plus 2x and we can consider this as our particular solution and this one as the solution to the homogeneous equation. I hope this helps.